Right, so I've got these three glyphs, and we can see I can edit this, and uh, you know it's, it's working very fine. Um, but then when I want to edit this glyph, I click on it, and then something kind of peculiar happens. You know, it jumps to this new tab. Really, what I'd like to do is, you know, to see, um, you know, these these three letters um, like this. And um, you know, when I click on it, then the, I should just be able to edit it in place, in exactly the same way um, as I'm editing you know, any any of the other existing glyphs. Um, so you can see here, you know, I'm trying to change um, this, and I can't delete this original, um, which is a bit peculiar. You know, I should be able to delete this and then just you know display any glyph here. And then the other strange thing that happened is that. You know, when I um, uh, when I did input another glyph here in this box, well, now I can't add anything. Um, but you know, I, I originally had ABC up here uh, like this, and um, you know, when I click on when I use the pointer and click on to B, then it it opens this in a tab, and this is cleared out. So the second thing is that the String that's in this preview should, you know, be retained so that um, when you go between tabs, it's not lost. And uh, this drop-down, the third thing, I guess, this drop-down thing should be, you know, removed until it actually uh, has a history of recent strings and uh, lo can load those strings from text files in exactly the same way as the the metrics window has, um, you know, this this kind of feature um, to load, and that that's also, you know, on the file menu. So I guess that's the fourth thing for this, you know, menu box to have a history.